This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. Here's a closer look at some of today's top stories. A blue ash man has reportedly confessed to killing a woman and dumping her body along I-75 nine years ago. Alexei Koloskov is in the Hamilton County Jail on $1 million bond. Police say he showed up at CPD yesterday to turn himself in for the murder of Melinda Ingram. The medical examiner's office later used dental records to identify her remains. Court records say Koloskov killed her on Dekabach Avenue before hiding her body there. All right, a shooting in Colerain Township sends a man to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Authorities tell us that man showed up at UC Hospital Medical Center uh, right around 1.30 this morning with a gunshot wound. Police say they think he was shot at the corner of Galbraith and Pippin and that this was a targeted incident. We're starting to see some roads already shut down uh, for the Flying Pig, which is, of course, coming up. Marrying Way closed this morning between Elm Street and Joe Nuxall Way. It will remain closed all weekend long. Elm Street is also closed between 2nd Street and Freedom Way until 4 p.m. The Flying Pig Marathon begins at 6.30 a.m. on Sunday, May 1st. Closures will also be in effect around the actual route, so just a heads up there. Let's send things over to Chief Meteorologist Steve Riley and get you caught up on your 9 first morning forecast. Steve? Yeah, Craig, as we look at things for tonight, we'll continue to see some scattered showers around the tri-state. Looks like a lot of that will end by the time you get out the door in the morning. 65 is a high for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. We'll see a few hits of sun, but at night, rain will develop, and that rain will carry into Saturday. We'll likely see some scattered showers almost throughout the day on Saturday. As we head to Sunday, it looks like a chance of the morning, and then we'll gradually see some clearing. Temperatures stay mild in the 70s.